You've reached the hotline of DieCast. How may I direct your call? Well, that's Oso. I'm Walter. Welcome to the Hotline of Diecast. Grab a critter or treat. Be right back. All right, welcome to the show. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in or riding along. Uh, if you like what you hear, hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, put me in your channel lineup. It won't cost you a thing. You can indiscretionally cancel later if you decide to. So, uh, but really appreciate you guys tuning in. Big thank you to my channel members. Man, you guys are the fuel. I don't really, I'm not sure if, thank you. Just, I'm gonna say thank you hugely. You guys are the fuel right now and I appreciate it, but everyone's appreciated. So here we go. But yeah, you guys are tuning in because it's a die cast show. So let me give you some die cast. Um, I got to do some hunting. I had some obligations up north, so start traveling up north, and I love this rip. It's one of my favorite drives, you know, just the way the, the mountains, and then you roll into the missions, and then the gateway to Glacier, you know, you've got Flathead Lake, and you got to stay at the lakes. It was really nice. Also, what's beautiful is I got to do some hunting on the way, so I did. I stopped at uh, some Walmarts, Target, a couple grocers, and I'll, I'll put all the peg hunting at the end. But what I found was, nicely enough, I originally found the Fort Anglia. My pal Matt, uh, in some confusion, brought me the Porsche 935 as well as the Toyota Celica. So that was rad. So I was up to three. Randomly, the only car, well, they had Anglias there too, but randomly, I was able to find the Honda Accord, which is much nicer in real life than, than I was expecting. Really, really cool car. Same goes for this Nissan Z. I don't believe the justice was done in the photos I saw that were leaked, you know, and all that stuff. And shout out to y'all who leak them, you know, the T-Hunted of the world and everything. It's cool, man. Appreciate y'all. That Walmart stop was rad. Stopped at another Walmart as well a little later. But while I'm on the topic of Walmart, what was it, one? Like 22 Walmarts closed last year. You know, I feel blessed to be able to hunt two, three Walmarts. Uh, well, they're far as hell. So let me just not, let me not joke. They're far for me, but I still have them. And I say that because with 22 of them shutting down last year, they just shut down one in Columbus, Ohio last month, this month, February. So sorry there to y'all in Ohio. Uh, shut down one in El Cajon, California. That's by San Diego, I'm pretty sure that stuff and, and the reason these are bummy because not it doesn't just bum us die cast hunters out even though it might be your local disappointment but there's people who rely on walmart they rely on those price points they rely on the supplies they offer and this is how they live and and by those stores closing where do they go next you know who knows and so there, there's there's something to that as well as there's another one closing closing in West Covina, Los Angeles, California, obviously. So that's sad. So that's 25 shut down, but there is some light. Walmart's pledging to open 150 new stores, 150. I don't know where they're going to stuff them at because I feel like there's one in a lot of places, but 150 more stores to hunt. And uh, they're also going to give a facelift to 920 plus existing stores. Now, that's a 25% of their or less than 20, probably 20% of the stores they have open already. Um, I think they're in like the 4,500 number right now, you know, but, um, but that's cool. I'm really excited for this. So, uh, you know, Walmart, maybe it's because we go there twice a week or what have you, but they they do look a little blah. So shout out to them. They also gave their managers raises and everything. So things should hopefully be improving. While I'm on a Walmart subject, I bumped into a Dotson hot wagon the walmart and polson most beautiful walmart the backdrop is flathead lake so <laughs> you're seeing it all like i say i stayed at flathead lake which is near polson and uh went back in the morning bumped into a neon speeder civic got them walmart logo wheels on there that's what the speeders are they're walmart logoed wheels 
And I also needed this skyline because there's there was a variation and, and it's on the door. And I don't have mine handy to show you, but there are variations. Look it up real quick. You'll be stoked. Maybe you got them both. Maybe you got doubles of the same one. Doesn't really matter. It's a really cool car. I've been having to do more research in the skylines. And I'm liking the stories that I'm, I'm, I'm hearing and reading. What else? What else? What else? Where did I go? Oh, I went to Target, too. That's right, but... Some things I gotta do on my own. And I found this. That 356 Porsche Moving Parts. 356. It's, it's up there. It's a beauty. Huh, it's a real beauty. They did great on that casting. Shout out to you, Matchbox. Doing your thing. I stopped uh, on my way, and I always do, I stop at Ace Hardware's, it's kind of been my little honey hole, and I went to the one in Missoula, and this was a front pegger, the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel, yeah, love this truck, love this truck, psych, I'm just kidding, I don't know much about Dodge, I just know the same Dodge the father, ran the daughter. That's just terrible. But I, I live in a place where that's been said a lot. But what I do like about it is it's a treasure hunt. Looks nice when it adds to the collection. And it was front peg, so I don't know if that was accidental. I don't know if the collector was leaving one behind for me because the J hook is a little blessed. It's a little blessed. But treasure hunts are treasure hunts. I'll take them sometimes, actually. Not all the time. Some, sometimes I don't need them. Let's see. Oh, went to, was it an Albertsons? No, I went to, it's the other one, Safeway. Safeway. And man, I I really, they they have a ton of older castings and I really enjoy the hunt there. Um, like I say, it allows you to find some cards you may have missed the opportunity during the drop. And uh, let me turn this down, pardon me. And so I went there. It was Safeway. It was definitely Safeway. And also has the best backdrop. So I go there. Start digging around. And I find some cool cars. Something I was missing. The Mazda RX-7 from the JM port set. Sorry. There you go. I couldn't tell you which case it was from. My apologies. Most times they're going to be international. And you can see no guaranteed for life in the front. But needed that for the set gonna buy these every time I see them the Honda Civic Custom also for the J import set and, and I don't I don't know if you guys have heard it. the Safeway Albertsons Kroger they call it merger but Kroger's buying them out and everybody's trying to put the kibosh on it and the thing is that they're gonna be too powerful they're gonna make prices skyrocket I don't know much but if I know anything about big business the idea is that if they merge they're gonna have larger buying power so when they used to only buy enough to supply Kroger or only buy enough to supply Albertson Safeway now they're buying enough to supply both or have the opportunity to buy enough to supply both which means that they should get a discount and they will get a discount from the vendors that discount will be passed on to us so I I guess that's a pledge but I don't really know if that really happens but that's the ideal behind it right they're also saying, well, it's going to take out all these little mom and pops and everything. And that's that's unfortunately been happening since the install of Big Box. And, and it's and they are right. But the funniest thing is even if they merge or Kroger buys Safeway Albertson, Walmart still sells more than they do combined. So what the problem is, I like the idea. For me, I think it'd be beneficial because I have Safeway Albertsons in my place. I would like some Kroger exclusives because I'm a diecast hunter, as well as I would I would like to think that those savings would be passed on to us. So I don't know. I don't know if you guys know. Anyways, they also sell diecast. They sell this Acura NSX, the 1990 Acura NSX. And this is important because it's a Ryu car as well as an Ayrton Senna developed chassis. Ayrton. Formula One starts this weekend. Let's go. Should be a good year. Probably just see Max podium like 24 times, but that's okay, I guess. It's just the way that goes, but it'd be nice to see some shakeups. 
in the midfield. Found a Liberty Walk, Super Silhouette, the Nissan Silvia S15. I'm always grabbing those. Also found another Porsche 935, which happened to be the Super Treasure Hunt. And these are funny, what weird, because I wonder, you know, there's so much like the main line, you just get double gold rings on a wheel versus single gold ring on the main line. And you also get the TH logo, if you didn't see it, sir. TH logo is on the door below the stripes. I'm very happy to have this. I, I'm a huge Porsche fanatic as well as um, it seemed like it's been a while since I found a Super. I think the last Super I found was, okay, let me stop crying, it was three Datsuns. So never mind. I, that's why I haven't found a Super in a while because I, I had a uh, hit it out of the park day. And that's cool. That's the way this hobby goes. And, and you guys got to know that too. And like I always say, you know, or, or like I need to remind you more. You know, don't play defense. Put yourself in an offensive position. Go out there and get it. You know, like, don't lie. These people, scalpers, resale. You or someone crying about it or anyone, or if it is you, it's not, crying about it ain't going to help. You know, you're trying to gain this allegiance by crying about it. And you should be up looking for the cars. That's just me, man. I can't I can't play it cool anymore. Or not that I ever did, but I'm gonna start saying some things that probably should be said. Very happy to have that Porsche. Dollar Tree. Stop there. And uh bought more of these. Dude, I'm gonna my whole collection, I'm, I finally am getting the muster to open up the cards that I didn't necessarily buy with the idea of opening, open, and selling off or trading off the doubles that I'll be left with, you know. So hopefully you guys can help me there if you need some cards, but I'm going to have the whole joint laced up in these, man, dollar twenty-five at a time. And the plan is to, at least I'm going to start with this, and hopefully you guys will ride along, but I'm going to start by opening all my Across America Matchbox and Storm and all these and display them that way. I think that'll be a fun project and so I invite you guys and it'll uh, be a channel member exclusive video to ride along with me on that. So get your channel membership up. I came all the way home, stopped at Walgreens to get pistachios. Real talk. I knew I was going to look at Hot Wheels, but I really stopped to get pistachios. I know I bust some chops about, oh, I went to the grocery to get cereal. No, nah, man, you went to get Hot Wheels, too. Don't... I went to get pistachios and look at Hot Wheels, and I'm glad I did because I bumped into the 56th anniversary Honda N600. Was missing this little baby. And that's a strong casting. They, they make a, a ton of them, you know. Uh, and lastly, found the Raging Express. It's a six of six. Uh, I don't know if it's a chase. Here's where I applaud uh, the homie uh, Jason Mustang Hunter because to clarify the whole chases thing with the six of sixes, like the six seven Camaro, the Raging Express, and so on. He contacted him with someone at Mattel, and they replied back, yeah, that they are a chase. I guess low production would make them a chase, but... But the fact that they're numbered, or in a series like that, makes them a little less get after me for myself. Um, doesn't seem like a chase, just seems like the last car you need for your set, you know? That's me, and I'm happy to have that Raging Express. I'm a Ryu fan. I really appreciate all the stuff he brought to Mattel, especially after June and Mai left and went and did his thing. Um, but it was a nice, happy, happy, refreshing thing, you know, um, to have to have uh, Ryu on board and doing that before he passed. I really think that might be it, except for doing a drawing and like I said I'll put all the peg hunting at the end but I want to do a drawing because maybe unbeknownst to you guys I did get 
an extra Dotson. It seems like that is also a pseudo chase piece. Or no, it's not. It's just a piece where they are um, low production and and very very good for the reseller secondary market. But man, all the channel members, I appreciate you guys. You can pause it, make sure your name's in there. I'm pretty sure I got everyone. All 58, I think. Wow. I salute you. Everyone's got a seat at the table. And so I'm wishing whomever the best. Let's do it. Oh. Man, my arm's tired already. Come on, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Who that is? Tight Diecast. Congratulations, Tight Diecast. Where's my pen? Maybe I should just write it on the card. Tight Diecast, just write on the card. Congrats, my G. Man, hey, first of all, thank you for being a member. Um, you really helped fuel the channel keeping the dog all butcher boned up even kit wilson i can't believe i have a cat it's so weird to me but i'm not gonna hold you guys down with that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get that out to you meanwhile i want to say thank you guys for tuning in and riding along really appreciate you um i think that's it enjoy some peg hunting I'll let you boy. Peace. All right. Wally World. Empty pegs. Empty pegs. That's an empty peg. It's on the shelf. There's a chase. Wouldn't mind finding that chase. That would be cool. I don't even like him too. But always chilling. I don't really like him too. these from afar. The whole thing is five packs. Yeah. I'm looking like there's going to be something new. So I don't know what this mix is. It's monster trucks. All the cool stuff. Whoa, check that out. Oh, of course, don't have a Z. Oh, really? All right, cool. All right, some Z's and a bunch of Z's. Old Tarjay. Unfortunately, or maybe it's fortunately, they're closing a bunch of their CVS stores within Target. So if you're one who needs prescriptions, this may affect you. But just thought I'd let you guys know. Let's see what's in here. I don't feel like I've been to Target in a while. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. 
teams in the end of the line. So this is magnificent. cars you think sometimes I guess sometimes I think they're slept on Received some cars in the last couple days, but uh, bison. What a cool lineup. Damn it. Eight cars, so this is the whole set. I'll tell you what, I ain't buying all of that bum shit is legit. So is that safari? I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. situation. Can't help but wonder how how said designers feel about that when they when they see it. You know, some gems that they designed 
that some people aren't receptive to. It's already broken inside. Mm. Looks like that's it. It's hardware. I can't tell if they got restocked. Soldiers everywhere. Hey, this is a treasure hunt. <laughs> Treasure hunt, maybe there's a super. actually wants this. Before Christmas. Still hmm. 
nothing new. Track day, track day, and track day. Some stuff over there. Venture for some new moving parts. So there's another Audi. Which is up if there's a Peter. Matchbox moving parts game is pretty strong right now. Six to six. Always oh, good. Don't say anyone, but there's some match box. Centras. make a whole National Park Spide Pack. I'm sure they have and I'm just not aware. I did notice there was this, but let's see. It's probably super old. Mm, no. I mean, it's super old, but it's not as shitty. Yeah, these cards are brand new. Let me get some baskets. So magnificent. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's the new AutoZone exclusive limited edition. So I'm going to charge your RC. And I might have to start buying RC.
a winner. Oops. Oh. Oop. All right. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. I might have to change my skill. space. GTI color exclusive. That again. It's got the GTI. It doesn't have all the other cars that one. That cyan. Oh! I have this, yeah? I have this one, I know. I don't have that one. Ooh, ooh. That's a lot of soldiers. Alright fellas, get you back up there where you can see. And that one, check. So which two am I still missing then? I mean, do I have the Bronco and Cruiser and Pickup? So wait, I need these. And at last I need the other one.